I'm wondering if this is a local issue then. Alright. If this is gonna cut it into sev several little piles, I hope not, because that's always a hassle. I really can't park here. I need to put Wi-Fi into the thing. Hey, Spartan John. Hello. How's your game going? Well, I hope. Uh, here. There we go, that took all eight. Great. Uh, now, can we make Wi-Fi? Oh, really? Well, did you see mine? <laughs> the, 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 the Dracosmic Fly. Dracosmic Fly. We can make a Wi-Fi. Good. I'll, I'll take you up and, and show you what she looks like. There she is, in all her glory. Took down a frigate and a corvette, then got destroyed by a destroyer. Well, it was partially my fault. I probably could have if I didn't have anything on her. But yeah, not completely decked out. So, here goes the stream elements again. Ah, uh, well, as long as it does the job, right? This one's designed to carry a tank, a specific tank. Uh, so yeah. All right, we gotta add Wi-Fi here. Ah. The guppy. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna do that now. Let's see if I find it. Did you publish it as a like a public one? Let's actually type in the version. I know. No, there's nothing wrong with my keyboard. Uh, Oh, there are so many. Oh, it's giving me everything with a version 1.0. Let's try just the guppy. Can't that many small vessels. Oh, all right, there's several of them. See if we can find. Nope, it must have been. You must have just saved it locally and not published it to the workshop, so... Because I can't find it. Alright, so this is the interior now of our ship. And we're going to put another set of stairs over here as well, by this elevator. And the thrusters are going to go down here somewhere. Probably further down. Uh, we need to install the Wi-Fi. Um, I'll just put it right here. It's fine. It's fine. Hmm? Okay. Now we should be able to see the derelict ship. Uh, I need carbon composite blocks. Some staircases. Too many staircases left. Uh, Yes, we have two. They're not enough. OK, 
Can we make more is always the question. Should have brought some. Oh, wait, I suppose we do have resources here, so. Steel staircases. Let's make 20. Good. Uh, and let's put on symmetry. Okay, cool. So, my star killer, 1.1. 1 .1. Well, you said 1.0, so. Let's see. It's here. Oh, yeah. I do not mind at all. I love answering questions. Alright, we need those staircases. Every question is a puzzle. Swords. Oh no, I can't carry anymore. Uh, I'm gonna have to rip these out because I want the texturable type and I didn't put in the texturable type. That's okay. Get to that. Uh, Alright, so what I need to do. Let's move this here. That was there. Built a lot of SV cargo extensions below next to a cargo box, but the limits still didn't increase. Any idea? Okay, so the cargo extensions work with the cargo controller, not a cargo box. Um, and they all have to be touching each other on one face, and two systems can't touch. So. But you can't use your your standard. Uh, let's see, electric engineer, and let's go to the derelict ship. So you need you can't use these cargo boxes with the extensions. You need the container controller uh, to control them all, like this thing. All, there's three types, one ammo, one ore, and one um, just a container controller. Uh, but they all look the same, so you'll need that to go with the extensions. Oh wait, yeah, for an, even for an SV. It'll look like that. So does that answer your question? And hopefully point you in the right direction. Yeah, no problem. All right, so this is on the bottom, like so. We're gonna need a lot more stairs. This has got to go way, way down. Two hundred fifty-five. I was wondering what the maximum was. This as far as we can go with this. Okay. Good. That one I already knew. Wow, that's going to be a long walk. <laughs> Every single time I want to come in and out of the SV, uh, CV. This is going to have to be behind the thrusters. Depends on the thickness of this top one, right? Because we can extend outwards here. That's another issue. Hmm. Well, 
The alternative is this one. That's pretty cramped, though. Just have to spawn in a micro vessel and fly my way in. <laughs> Shave down the front and the back here. Bring them up to a point. We got to extend them out a little bit as well. Hmm. It's definitely enough car like landing space. Is pretty decent here. I think this is going to be I'm the farm plots down. Oh no! Then every time I want to craft or something, it also depends on where I would decide to put the cockpit. Right? I kind of want it right here in the middle. Um. And we need to put the farm on the bottom or the top. Either way, we're going to have problems because we're going to have thrusters. So that's going to be you. Stop telling me that. Hmm. I mean, we can get the L thrusters in here. Previously, I only had two. I think for left or right. So if we put in... Four, eight, ten. We well, went up and down though too. So if we do, that's eight sixteen. It's one point eight, about one point eight mil, <clears throat> along with our eight point five. Fixes us to 9.3. Hmm. Nine point three. The question is how far out do we want the thrusters to be? Where are we going to put the artillery? Could build outwards. How many? How far down does this go? One, two, three, four, five blocks. Six. Six. Artillery will stick up two. Okay, and what if we. If we put this curve out more, pushed it out further, hmm, okay, I got another idea. What if we just made this part go out further, right? Change the curvature. Also make it easier to walk in 4G. <laughs> Welcome to the problem with symmetry. How many blocks does this in between? Like three or four blocks? Well, this is all going to be flat, so it's actually with two blocks. It's going to be a difficult transition to make. We might be able to do it, though. Well, you don't know until you try, right? So, we're going to try. Hmm. 
check my O2 real quick. Make sure I don't suffocate. No, I'm not, and that's part of the reason also why I'm happy to remove them. Because they look so awesome. Like, the things that you can do with them are just so amazing. I like it. Alright, we're ready to proceed again. So, oh, we're going to come out from here at the bottom. Get rid of this. Uh, cool. From here. Uh, show me the stairs. Take those two. Uh, let's make more. Probably won't be able to carry more than 20. Let's move some of this stuff. Elsewhere. There we go. Alright. Now we do it right this time. Right here. And... Oh, it's lined up with the elevator. That's right. Cool. Well, that's going to be a bit awkward, actually. Come on. Oh, behave. There we go. Oh, that's frustrating. That's double frustrating. That's just frustration upon frustration. Come on. It saves the number of stairs we need to use. Let's go. Go. Just not cooperating, are you? Oh, <laughs> that's unpleasant. Okay, so how does this then look? I suppose it would offer some kind of protection for any vessel that's coming in and out of the thing, like a hover tank or something. Not really, though. A hover tank would hover above that, so it'd probably fly out anyways. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Where does that leave us with the thrusters as well? I feel like I need to go down more. I feel like this is not enough. This is a pr pretty wide hangar bay, too. Stop telling me, Dad. Hmm. I needed to go down more. Let's see, let's take this down as far as we can. Ugh, this is frustrating. Come on.
that. No. There we go. So this is all going to be twice as thick. Huh? Gur. Ooh, that's a lot of gur. I realize this. Do not disconnect me. I've disconnected. Dang it. All of that work I put in to make the things and the things in and now it's gone. Why? Pretty big. The very long ride up. I suppose we could put it like almost. Well, I don't know if we could get away with it, though, is a real question. We had it like this on the top. Push it out more. We push it down more. And I think the 90 degrees is probably the best choice here. And unfortunately, the stairs are going to have to follow suit as well. Uh, so, yeah. You know what? I'm a. Uh, I'm going to put a, a armor locker at the bottom of each of these stairs. Right? An armor locker and an O2 station and a healing station. Four. A total of eight. No, a total of four on each one of these stairs at the bottom. And that way, if I am on a 4G planet, I can just be like, okay, well, fine. I will change my armor to something lighter and pray that I can make it up the stairs. Uh, did not clean out the other side, did I? No, I did not. And therefore, any changes I make will be unsuccessful. Okay. Keep going. 
It just keeps going and going and going. I ran out of stamina by the time I get to the top of the stairs. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Okay, so that's reached there. <clears throat> and I think according to this, yep, that's a solid block. See. Star killer, star killer. Are you star killer? Oh, there we go. Okay, that makes sense. The guppy 1.0. Take a look. This one picture is a rail guns at the bottom, mini guns on the side. It is Chunky Boy. Where are your thrusters? I can see the bottom thrusters. Oh, I see the back thrusters on the left and right. No, I, I can't, I'm not equipped to bring it up. <laughs> People are going to have to search for it themselves, sadly. And not that organized. We know what we're talking about. And there we go. So this would be... The problem becomes now, where do I put the thrusters? If I put in the thrusters like this, even if I put them underneath here, when I walk through this, I will burn. Okay. Let's see. This is pretty thick, though. Hey, for for a first attempt, that's very good. If you go to my if you go to my YouTube and see what I tried to build my first hover vessel uh, in the game, I tried to make it look like. Uh, Airwolf, which is basically a helicopter. Oh yeah, that did not turn out well. From that point on, I just used blueprints for a very long time. I reached a point where I was like, ah, oh, okay, we'll try it again. Now that I've ripped apart a few ships and figured out how things generally work. Even then, I still would call myself a builder. I just kind of take what I got and improve upon it, or Change it to suit my purposes, I should say. It keeps going and going and going. It's going to be just real hassle walking up these stairs. I've always wanted to do this, so this was my original idea when I built, first built the first Bender Bat. Okay. Hmm. That's actually pretty long. That's a very long walk. You know what we could do? Since this is where it, it ultimately ends, and... I mean, it doesn't ultimately have to end here. It could ultimately end anywhere. Let's say that we put... I see, even, even if I put the thrusters here, it still feels like... I meant to use a drone for this. Even if I put the thrusters here, 
it still feels like it's way out uh, from the center. I feel as though the thrusters should be start right about here. Right? And I'd want at least one block around them. Minimally. And this is pretty much unacceptable. So the thrusters would then go there. One, two, three by three. Okay. And this would end here. Uh, if I put an elevator there, a shot could get into the thruster. Hmm. So we would chop off. Hmm. Depends. If I put the thrusters, you don't want to burn. That's my problem. It's like I don't want to be on fire. There's a good possibility. Mm, where is where are the thrusters? Here we go. Okay, let's take a look at this. <coughs> So how far out are these going to stick? It's like three blocks out? Hmm. That may not be a bad thing. Can we move it forward even more? So we want it to be here, right? That feels right. Yeah. So I put the thrusters right here. So I'm going to find a way to curve over this. Also want the thrusters to be covered, right? So that means we need another layer here, all around it, right? We want to make sure we don't build anything around it. I'm not sure that this one block gap is going to keep us safe from the temperature of that thruster. all the way out to here. Might want to have some curvature, but wondering if I can do something cool here. For example, I'm just going to leave my thrusters exposed. <laughs> oh no, I would have to make it. I see what I'd have to do. Wait a second. I do like this. Hmm. I 
Let's be like that one. That didn't really work. I guess it would have to be. Let's see which one of them works. Neither of them. Well, no, wait. Both of them. Well, that one works if you're going outwards. That. Go! Oh, wait. Why am I doing this? Go, drone, go! Rotate, rotate with me. All right. Ooh, fancy. Tempted to do this. But the question becomes which direction? Oh, well, I think the answer is obvious. That way. That. Oh, wait. This here. No problem. My pleasure. Feel free to stop by and ask questions anytime. Ah, mm, oh, that doesn't quite work. There's no piece for this. Although we could make this look cool by painting the inside of it. All right. So that's a pseudo thruster assembly. We continue on like that here. On the in part, I'm not so sure. The question is, what does it look like when you look at it like this? Yeah, radiation. And the other thing is, when you get here, you want something that'll both hide it and highlight it, so... We need to go with this. Come there. Is that in line? Oh. Hmm. actually the piece that I want. Yeah, 
Yes. And no. Do I want this piece? Or do I want this piece? Okay, I want that piece. I will absolutely, of course, regret this. Because it leaves it so exposed. It looks really cool. And we can put additional thrusters in here as well, like four M thrusters on the side, just to double up the calamity of it exploding. To give the, the chance to blow up the small ones, so you can blow up the big one. That sounds like a perfect idea. thruster assembly. I suppose we'd be covering all of this up. It's a box. Uh, and I maybe take it down one more level. Think there's a there's no piece for this. Is it? Wait, this is the piece for it. creates a whole awkwardness in and of itself, right? It would have to end here. The only thing that makes sense. We wouldn't, the other problem is we wouldn't be able to put any turrets next to this. I suppose we still could. Hmm, I'm gonna leave this as a possibility. Left? Nope. We go through 200 already. Well, all this would be have to be replaced with. Um... Oh, look, this side never changed. Good. With some other material other than carbon composite, especially in the wings. I have to be very careful where I put the warp core. Because I've had that got get blown out before. Okay, which, where would I put that? I'm upside down. Kind of like it on display, but uh, to make sure I keep it. If we... Where are the entrances? Here. So, oh, we could put it either in the front or the back. 
But if we're going to do it the way we did it last time, I had the core up, I had the warp core up behind my driver's seat, and every time I walked past it, I got, uh, I got juiced with radiation, so I'm not sure I want to do that again. It sticks out too. Now, I could put it in the center here, right? Or maybe in the center on the bottom. But if I'm getting hit from the ground... See, the problem is, when I'm fighting in space, I generally get hit a lot from the top. Um, if I'm going to be on the ground, I'm going to get from the bottom. Right. So, but if I'm on the ground, having the warp core get blown out is not a big of a problem as it would be if I was uh, in space. In space, it would be a terrible disaster. Hmm. Which leads me to believe that somewhere back here would be a good spot. Uh, I'm tempted to put it right there, but of course that would be right next to the elevator and I would get radiated every single time I go by. I'm definitely going to curve this up from here into just where the car... Uh, hmm. I'm going to need a lot of heavy windows if I'm going to do it like I did it before. Right, we need to do some sorting here. Mm -hmm. Container controller, All right? So, okay. I'm pretty sure we can't get. No, actually, we don't really need this. Yeah, we can't get all the blocks in here. I need to put these somewhere else. Oh, close. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much full now. And there's so many more blocks here. Alright. <laughs> oh my. Ouch. Oh, that hurt. Uh, let's see. I also want to move the combat steel over. This is tedious. Oh wait, we have a middle. Middle ground. Okay, good. Alrighty then. Hardened steel, hardened steel. We have so much hardened steel. Trussing. Okay, so I want to get the trussing over here as well. Okay. So we got. Let's see if we can move the steel. Eh, not enough. <clears throat> I might take all of this crap down to the planet if I can carry it all, which I doubt. Uh, let's see. Carry okay, part of it. Carry the rest of the main storage, good. Let's see what else we got. Not in here. Take those as well. Uh, hard and steel blocks. Oh my. Okay. Hmm. 
There are a lot of hard and steel blocks. All right. Just put them everywhere. Okay, cool. And there's still like a lot left. Uh, oops. Literally have no space. Good. Wasn't I going to send some of those down for deconstruction? I think all of this was scheduled for deconstruction. Oh well. Get a crap ton of safety and plates. Cool. Alright. So we got to think about where to put the gravity, where you put the generator, where you put the fuel tanks. Uh, O2 tanks. I mean, I don't mind if I lose O2 tanks, so I don't mind putting them like on the underside here in the wing. Maybe we should do that. We'll keep like an emergency, uh, couple of emergency fuel tanks in here, but primarily put the fuel tanks in the middle of the wing here, like they do on commercial airplanes. Uh, we can probably get a tier two in. No, because that'll be too easy to be destroyed. Unless I move the drone hatch down one and put them up here, that might work. The other thing is we may not even need to put anything here. We might be able to just leave this open. And how big of a shutter, uh, how big of a ramp can we make? Let's see, do we have any ramps? Uh, shares. Wait, we got nine ramps. Okay. See, how big of a ramp can I put on here? Three by five by three. That sticks out in a way that is not the way we want it to be. 2 by 4 by 2 also not the correct angle. Alright. We tried this, but we put it like this. Oh, that's way too... This one. Nope. No way I'm going to be able to drive up that. I'll check my 2 by one I mean, yeah. Then again, this would also work. Like this. Right. But that's not enough. One by one by one. Can we get a 3 by 3 by 3 Oh, thanks. We have a 3x3x1. Three by three by Why don't we have a 3x3x3? Three by three by three? One by 3x1. Three by 3x1. Three by three by oh. Three by 5 by 3 None of these will suit the purposes that we're going for. So that idea is cancelled. Oh, good night, Tic Tac. Have a good one. I look forward to your next adventures. Yeah, no, this is not going to work. We're just going to have to forget the ramp idea and bring this as far down as possible. Hopefully. Hopefully it will be... Ah, I see. Now, if I'm using the center part as a thing, all my turrets are going to have to go here. Right? So, we can have turrets here, on the sides, on the bottom. 
on the inside in space is not so useful except really for focused fire so we're going to want to put everything kind of out here and around here but of course being on the bottom it's going to be a bit limited although i did have uh what do they call them not a real gun mm, flak flak cannons on the last one on the top and the bottom wondering if this is just going out too far it doesn't seem like it this feels like the right distance to go out i have to replicate that four more times all the way around it sticks out a little bit but i don't think it sticks out quite enough actually two four most guns are four length i think the rail guns are eight which sticks out six so we might have to have those recessed a little bit in order to make it flush across the front um because i want to be able to land on any side um although that being said if i do land on any side i won't be able to walk around <gasps> You know, we could do, uh, I suppose we could, but we'd have to use, like, la ladders. Not to mention, I definitely want to put some walkways on top of things on the outside. I think they'll, uh, take some damage. Especially the black ones that you walk all over, because those things always take two hits from a cargo, uh, from a, uh, multi-tool. Even though they're only 100 hit points, I don't know why, so... They seem to have special properties. All right. Let's see. Uh, I don't care if I disconnect from the thing. I want to take a look at what this. That's fine. Disconnect. Oh, let's turn symmetry off as well. Take a good look at this. Can't, because it's all painted black. So yeah, that's a little bit of an issue. I didn't remove it from this side. I like this blue color blue. Leave it to me to paint after I've done turned off symmetry. I wonder how this blue would look like an alien. Maybe I should have made it in bright red. It's still difficult to see. Uh, it's too much of a box. I need to move the thrusters out and up. Or maybe up. Do when I look at it from afar, it looks like a big X, right? Or the beginnings of Big Axe, but when I get closer, it doesn't look so bad because the thrusters are a little bit up and in. Hmm. And 
I don't, I'm not actually going to fill all of this. I'm going to take this in to meet that. So somehow I've got to get this to come around and meet up with the thrusters on this side. Um, wondering if... If we do come out here, we're going to need an exit to probably be here. We also won't be able to leave these stairs here. Wondering if it'll have to be like a jump in thing. It's always a hassle. Hmm. And this will definitely have to, if this comes all the way down to the bottom, which it won't be able to, that ramp is going to end here. Hmm. Where'd the container controller three? Yeah, let's organize this a little bit. No. That's completely empty. Oops. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's move all the thrusters into here. Good. Gravity generator. No, we don't have. We don't have a warp drive. And we don't have a repair station. But those are two things that we're going to need. Probably a lot more stairs as well. Let's take a look at color one. Two and three little blocks. Uh, two is this. One is thrusters. Okay. So let's leave the container controller empty, so we don't have to look at that. Uh, container controller two and container controller three. Nine hundred and thirty-three blocks. Zeno blocks is not going to be enough to cover the entirety of this thing. We're going to need more than just that. Uh, let's see, armor lockers, medical stations, O2 stations, we're probably going to need more. we got plenty of fridges and, although I don't think I'll use that many. Hmm, yeah, so we need a repair station. We need two repair stations, one warp drive. Uh, I want two tier two generators, which how many, how much CPU is that? Uh, about 50K, that's not too bad. Okay, I'm 
I'm gonna need them too. I think I'm gonna need them. Each one of these takes 12.4 KPU, as much as a uh, teleporter. Oh, There's only six when it's on a vessel, okay. Twice as much as a teleporter. A little bit over twice as much. And we're gonna have eight of these. So, let's see. Five is 60, and another 30 is 36. 86. Uh, like, let's say 90. 90 KPU, and each one of these gives 180 KPU. So, one of these would be enough. If we put two large tier two generators in, we won't need um, we won't need any other generators. However, I will want one, let's say T one generator. Uh, this takes energy in three forty six kpu. Tier one can generate twenty five. So I want two tier one generators as well uh, as backup for when I have the thrusters off I'll turn off the large generators and I'll use the two small tier ones to power the shield and um, you know processing like the deconstructors and the food and the lights and stuff like that uh, and that'll be low energy mode well, defensive low energy mode, and then we can have two small generators. I suppose we need power for the repair bay as well, 20 KPU. Yeah, so 20 KPU and 36, that's 46. That leaves about 4 KPU for... Um, can these take energy? 10. Oh, 10 PU, okay. These take 1.5. All right, so we should be able to get away with that. So two large generators, tier one, and two tier twos. So we're going to need stuff. All right, let's head back home. we got to build all this stuff. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Plus, I have a pizza waiting for me, so i got to get back and eat that. Hopefully the base has run out of power and it's turned into rotten. Spoiled food. Spoiled food. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrusters off. Dang it. Oh, I'm so heavy now. of all these have heavy oh you know what if I can stop you know what let's stop straight away <laughs> oh whoa how did that happen <laughs> okay uh, note for you do not initiate a emergency stop and then jump out of the uh, driver's seat because you will fall <laughs> Good to know. All right. Oh, we're only able to fly at 40 meters per second. I'm not even sure. Uh, okay. Where's this red dot? Yeah, please don't be a uh, anything, pretty much. Oh. Better. Okay, good. Ah, let's put some fuel in the baby. Get some music going on. Uh, let's see, fuel. That took forty something, forty eight maybe.
It's a beautiful ship, though. I mean, gotta hand it to Jay Randall. He does have just an incredible eye for design. I never noticed that little window there, too. Where is that? Is that in the farm? On both sides, I think. Now, see, even when he put the turret placements there on the back, he put a block between the turret and the um, and the thrusters. Got to change trajectory. There we go. Apparently, we can get up to forty. There we go, fifty three meters per second, pushing it. Adjustments. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this up in the air once I enter atmosphere. Well, only one way to find out, right? Here we go. Okay, stabilizers on, adjusting ship, rotating to 90 degrees, quickly, I think I went the wrong way, yeah, no, we're falling. Oh, oh, okay, it's a harsh landing. Where is the base? Right there. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Alright, awesome. Uh, let's see. So... Home. Fuel, good. Deconstructor. I should have had that cranking. Okay. Good. Uh, we'll just chuck these, I think, in the base. Oh, we can't reach the base for an hour. Ah. Well, container controller is pretty empty. So... Um. Alright. Does that help us take off a little bit? No. Not at all. Uh... I'm surprised we can't reach the base. Okay. I cannot do anything. I can kind of rotate the ship. But full thrust and nothing. Is that enough to get me close enough to the base? Yes. Uh. Yeah. Wait, we have more space. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, another thousand there. All right, taking off shouldn't be a problem anymore. Get her over to 90. There we go. Level the ship. Wait. 
still have to empty the uh, Dracos McFly. Dracos McFly! Good. Nice to not fall out of the ship again. Oh, I can't even. There we go. There's a procedure. Uh, now. Uh, all right, that's good. Because my cry. Uh. Oh, I still have a uh, auto miner in there. Alrighty, good. I do want these. Ah, uh, yeah, I could do that, but I like the switches. The designer put them in for a reason. I like to use them. There we go. Good. That didn't move them all. I no point going out through there. Da -da -da -da. But that is an option, yes. Press B and switch. Flip the thrusters. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can always hop in the uh, driver's seat and do that, anyways, right? Wow, that sounds bright. Did I leave the ship on? Pretty sure I didn't. Yeah. They're just lighting up. Happy to see me back. <laughs> oh. What can I say? Alright. Let's go build this stuff. You know what? Heavy armor. I don't want to hurt myself. I still haven't put an O2 station. Alrighty, let's get started. First and foremost, we need a uh, warp drive. Uh, two tier twos. And... I think I saw a shield. Uh, we'll need two stations. Uh, okay. I think that's... I suppose I don't have a repair station, do I? Still not sure if I have a shield or not. It's alright. Alright, cool. Those are cooking. How'd you do, my friend? Done. Let me enjoy my pizza. Please tell me I do have a pizza. And come all the way back here. Yes, I did. I knew it. Ah, ah. All right, excellent. Okay, so let's go check our list. Okay, so we got all of this stuff. Well, except for Prometheum. Uh, let's check the stores before I update this. Because we are going to go through a lot of this material. Uh, so we need cobalt. Actually, we got cobalt on the moon, so we don't have to worry about that. We still need eristrium, promethium, and pentaxid, which we also have pentaxid on the moon, but still. Okay, so... Okay, so... Uh, we no longer need, I suppose for a little bit, Neo uh, or Zacosium. But we'll add Pentaxid. Um, more build a spaceport is more like uh, 
finish spaceport. Uh, and we're in the process of building the CV. We still need to take out the planetary drone base so that the attacks will stop on our base. Uh, paint the tank is in progress as well. I don't know. Oh yeah, we placed it. I think we placed the teleporter already in the. Oh, we placed. We did all this. Uh, so we did. We did place the teleporter and shields in the base. We need to add more guns and finish the base. All right, cool. That is the plan. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the planetary drone base. Where is that? Have I located it yet? I don't think so. I, even with all my exploring, I'm going to have to take the uh, thing and could be down here. We also need to take out the abandoned, uh, all of these different ones and, and get all of the uh, Zeno blocks. So let's put that in. Okay. It, I think it's a higher priority than getting the resources at this stage. So alien box from and abandoned places and find base and destroy destroy it all right, I guess we can take this one off. Oh, wait, hold on a second. E. All right, delete that. All right, I need six seconds here before we end. But you have 60 seconds to think of something else to add on the list. And mark. Uh, no suggestions, huh? Okay. We still have the drone base on the moon. I don't really see... I mean... I do plan on flattening it. Uh, we flatten it down to a landing pad, and then we put a repair bay on it, and we just use it as a repair place and a place to put any additional resources from the uh, auto miners that we don't use. Right? But then we have the flying, floating... What is it? Zenu mainframe, which we own. We haven't finished. Ah, here we go. I got something for you. And this really can go on the at the end of the list. So many things with finish. <laughs> finish this, finish this. Finish clearing the moon. Because there's still a um, the comm station up there. And the anti-turret aircraft. So, finish clearing the moon, uh, take tank. Because if it's an anti-aircraft, we'll, we'll, we'll approach it from the land. And take it out that way. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Good. All right. So that's the plan. 
Maybe I should change my title from the cursed one to the cautious one. No, I can't. I'm cursed. I had to go 17 kilometers to get back to my ship. I am the cursed clone. I accept my fate and we'll have to make sure I stay out of trouble so I don't get murdered. Because that would be bad. Alright. Hopefully it has enough resources to make all of this stuff. Ah, it's got caught on the space. Hmm. There we go. Plenty of space in there. There we go. That was just waiting to spit out. Alright, no problem. That'll, that'll come out there. Ah, well, I think we're going to leave it here. As always, I remind you to take care of yourselves and one another. Thank you for joining me on my journey. May the Force forever be in your favor. This is Commander Black, signing out. Successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.